Hello everyone, it's me, Chris DeVega, here to talk about the element rubidium. Now first, let's begin with the history of the element. Rubidium was discovered in the year 1861 in Heidelberg, Germany, by Robert Bunsen and Gustav Kirchhoff using spectroscopy, the method the pair had invented previously. The atomic symbol for the element rubidium is Rb, and there are no known ancient uses for this element. Now on to the periodic properties. Rubidium is located in family number 1 and in period number 5. The atomic number for rubidium is 37, and the atomic weight is 85.5 AMU. The ionization energy is 403 kilojoules per mole, and the electron affinity is 46.9 kilojoules per mole. The electron configuration, along with the orbital notation and electron dot formula, can be seen right now. Some physical properties of rubidium include its silvery white color, it being soft, solid at room temperature, liquefies at high ambient temperatures, its melting point at 39.3 degrees Celsius, its boiling point at 688 degrees Celsius, its density is 1,533 kilograms per meter squared, its molar volume at 55.76 centimeters cubed, its liquid range being 648.58 Kelvin and a good conductor of electricity. Some chemical properties of rubidium include that it's highly unstable and can ignite spontaneously in air. It also reacts violently with water and forms alloys with gold, sodium, potassium, and cesium. It also reacts with chloride to form rubidium chloride. Rubidium comes from the Latin word rubidius, meaning very or brightly red. When you put rubidium through the flame test, it emits a bright red color. On your screen right now is the Bohr model for rubidium. Rubidium costs $25 per gram. There are many uses for rubidium, including fireworks, atomic clocks, thermoelectric generators, GPS units, and medical research, specifically in drugs for depression. Oh, that's a lot about rubidium. To go over what we went through in this video, we went through the history of rubidium, the periodic properties, its physical properties, chemical properties, history of the element's name, the Bohr model of rubidium, the cost per gram, and the uses for this element. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and possibly found it helpful. Thank you for watching.